Okay, so I'm going to do B and C together because they're both really, really simple. Right, so um, he changes his password to R4H, small h, B, F, and F, G, 1. Explain why he's chosen this password. It's a bit of a stupid question, really, because um, this, I would say, is a password that's really, really easy to forget and get wrong. But, okay, the reason why he would have chosen this password is because it would conform to company rules. So what we've got to look at is basically we've got to look at what is good about this password. So it's got capitals and it's got lowercase. So that means it's a strong password. And also another way people could actually check your password is by shoulder surfing. So it's all that means is someone will look over your shoulder and see you typing your password. If they see him typing that password, they're never going to see what he's typing in. They're never going to recognize the pattern. Okay. Um, next one is when a password is changed, it's verified. Identify the type of verification which is when carried out. Now, when you change your password, generally on anything, think about it. So I'm going to change my password. So I go to change password, or I've forgotten my password, can I change it please? What does it ask me to do? Okay, it may ask me to um, type in my old password if I know it. But it will definitely ask me to type in my new password. So, what does it do after that? Well, once it's done that, it will ask you to type in your new password again. So it can match it and see that you actually, you've actually typed in the same password twice and you haven't made a mistake. Okay, so it's asked you to enter it twice. This is called a double data verification.